A lot going on in the tropics right now. Here's the overview of what's happening. We've been so focused on Idalia moving into the Gulf of Mexico. Now a hurricane category one expecting expected to quickly strengthen within the next 24 hours to a category three hurricane as it approaches Florida by Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning is when we will be talking about landfall. Uh, there in the Florida coast. So quick development, quick moving storm, 30% chance of new development over the next seven days in the middle Atlantic and then into the eastern Atlantic. We've got a tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. That has a 50% chance of development. We'll be interacting with that Saharan dust. We still have major hurricane category four strength, 140 mile per hour winds. Uh, hurricane Franklin, what it's doing is creating hurricane swells that can be life threatening to beachgoers along the coast there of the Carolinas and then Edalia is going to come over that same area as well. So a lot of rainfall expected with Edalia. We're going to miss out on the rain for the most part. We do have a chance for some spotty showers today, but high pressure setting back up over the plains isn't the best scenario for us to get some rain, especially over the next three days. There is a chance for a little bit of rain to return over the weekend, but for now, here's a breakdown of what you can expect today on your Tuesday. For the most part, we stay fairly dry a few near coast and offshore showers through the morning. Spotty activity develops into the afternoon and evening. So around dinner time, you may have to dodge some rain. It will be spotty. It's impossible to say exactly where these storms will set up this evening. We still have northerly winds into Wednesday and that's going to dry us out. And so with drier conditions in place, I expect temperatures to really easily climb into the triple digits uh, on your Wednesday. Temperatures topping out in the triple digits easily may be the hottest day of the year so far there on Wednesday. As far as right now goes, we've got clear skies in your day planner. We've got northerly winds reaching 100 by 3 p.m. Spotty showers possible. Your max heat index 113 in Corpus Christi. A little bit further inland will be closer to 110, so slightly cooler heat index values. But look at this uh, on our dew point. We have a chance for some smiles even as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Look at the muggy meter dropping for Wednesday, still in the 60s. So dew points in the 60s, Wednesday and Thursday, still technically humid, but will feel drier to us. That's thanks in part to those northerly winds, but look, southeast winds return. So our dew points will be going back up into the weekend. Also, a side note from Edalia, we'll have longer periods along our coast. Waves don't look too high, but those longer periods combined with that full moon, which is a blue moon tomorrow, may lead to some minor coastal flooding. High tide's going to be at 1 to 1 p.m. tomorrow at Bob Hall Pier. Temperatures going up. I think we'll reach 104 on Wednesday with the drier air, northerly winds in place, but more humid over the weekend. A slim chance for some rain will come along with that, but it looks fairly isolated at that point, if any at all. But we will be more humid, slightly cooler air temperatures, but higher heat index values expected into next week. Barbie Johnson.